This is the fourth and last video about solid fuels for the forge, this time for coke. Coke used to be a common fuel for heating households or homes and it used to come in fairly big lumps. So if you come across a stash of leftover coke that might be for free, you'll have to break it down into smaller pieces for it to be suitable for forging. Starting the fire is best done with a bit of charcoal or wood or newspaper, whatever suits you. Pile the coke high on top of the fire once you've got a fire nest established. As you can hear, I'm using a bouncy castle blower to provide enough air blast to the coke fire. Coke requires a lot of air compared to the other three fuel types. Consequently, you'll get a larger fire on average um, than with a charcoal or a normal coal um, fire where you can really like make a small fire as if you turn the air blast low. This is not really possible with coke. Coke tends to have bigger fires and you isolate it by simply piling coke on top of it. Once you've got a nice fire going, coke is almost smokeless and provides excellent heat. I've now turned the air blast off and you'll see that within a couple of minutes the fire will die down. Once the air is off, the fire simply doesn't sustain itself. This is approximately 10 minutes later. You can see it's still glowing, but the fire is already no longer no longer has any flames. And this is approximately 20 minutes later, and it's just glowing in the middle. You could still restart the fire like this, but it's almost out. And this is one hour later, even turning the blast back on won't rekindle the fire. It's out. So you'll have to start over with your preferred method of starting fire, pile the coke back onto it and you'll be back to forging temperatures within a couple of minutes. One note to coke users, you'll find that coke while producing a very clean fire without any smoke it also produces quite a bit of clinkers, so cleaning out the fire every once in a while is a good idea. That's it. Now happy forging.